Oh, hi there. Welcome back. It's been eight months, hasn't it? Yeah, I know. I, I've been saving up money. Just you wait. First box that I'm gonna open um, is this one. It's uh, a subscription box. Uh, I got two actually. This one and another one that I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys later. Uh, this one comes with ramen from Japan. I I ordered one last month. This one came in by accident because I, I thought it was like a month to month subscription. I thought you renewed it every month uh, manually, but now it was automatically. So I got another one, but I mean I'm not complaining. The last one was was okay. It wasn't too bad. So uh, yeah, let's 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 open it, shall we? Um, okay. <clears throat> My address is there, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. We'll see. Let's see. Uh, oh, no, oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. Ah, uh, y'all ain't y'all ain't gonna see my address. That's that's a big no-no for me. So, uh, we got the umami crate. I I can't see what's I can't see what's in here yet. You guys are gonna be the first ones to see. Um, so, oh, the the papers came out. August. Oh, whoops. August 2020, and it comes with the little. Uh, guide us to what ramen comes in here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I have no idea what's in here yet. So I'm gonna, gonna, not gonna look at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it by myself. And it comes with a little recipe you can try at home yourself. It's not too bad. Um, first one is, I, I can't read this. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know what it says. Uh, the only thing that's in English it says Marutai and it's up above the blue part and I have I, I, I don't know what it is let me, let me I'm gonna have to look at this what is this I mean it looks like noodles crispy salad noodles okay 60 grams of I don't know what but sure oh this one looks spicy I, I like this one made in Japan this one non-fried noodles these look nice they look tasty what are they called let's see tokyo soy sauce ramen um but again this this shows you like how you should prep them and what you should try them with to maximize the flavor this is gonna be it's gonna be a good box i can already tell better than the last one for sure natural noodle just or your standard i think uh, ramen. I don't know what flavor it is, but yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a nice. This looks like oh, this is sauce that you can pour over like your noodles. This actually doesn't look too bad. I can probably use this for I don't know uh, one of the noodles in here. I bet this is not. This is this looks like it's noodles that you should serve with like fresh foods and vegetables and meats. This is called the. Oh, it's cold ramen, huh? So that's what it, that's what cold ramen looks like. Again, I don't, I don't. I'm gonna follow the instructions and see how to actually like eat them properly. <coughs> uh, but yeah, here we have what is this? This is a uh, udon, <laughs> cold udon, right there. It's I I tried the udon that I got from the last box uh, I think I, f I messed it up because it I don't I don't think it was supposed to taste the way it did it tasted like nothing this is cup noodle okay this is basic cup noodle I, I, I know how to make this right at least I would hope so yeah oh so it's called yusu salmon I don't basically cup noodle in my opinion this seems to be some type of crackers oh no this is this is dehydrated i think uh tofu this is tofu so you add this to your uh i bet to your uh, ramen to add a little bit more texture to it i've seen people eat tofu on on ramen and a bunch of other asian dishes and it looks good i've just never tried it because the tofu i've been ex exposed to it's here in the Americas and uh, it's only for vegans and it looks nasty. 
And the last one is this one. This one looks uh, like I like spicy stuff. And this one looks and this one's extremely spicy. This one's called the uh, Tanukyojai Super Spicy Masamen. And it looks like that. So yeah, this one, this one for sure is going to be one of my favorite ones that's going to be in the box. I, I can't wait to try this one out. Okay, for the other box, like I said, it's a subscription box. It's the Japan Crate. This is another monthly or actually the way that they um, do this is uh, it's month to month where you could it renews every month or you could do every three months or every six months or for a whole year uh, but you have to pay on the spot there if you want to do like the three six or twelve month one I did month to month because I just didn't want to spend that much money uh, though I will say the stuff that comes in these boxes is really worth it and it's really cool especially this one because this one's like a lot of like has a lot of anime themed stuff in it which is which I, I really like a lot because you know I'm a weeb anyway let's let's open let's open this one uh, okay Let's see what's in here. I'll let you guys take a look at it first. There's, oh, I don't know what fell there, but then we got here and back here. Now my turn to, to, to look at it. And then, oh, this little thing that fell. Again, it's just the little manual thing that tells you what comes in here. And for August, I believe they were doing uh, giveaways to, for people to win like little, like it says right here. Uh, Games like Animal Crossing for the Switch, some Nintendo uh, Switch lights, and like a Pokemon Bank for Pikachu. I, I I didn't get anything, but you know what? It's it's okay. Nice little artwork that's that's on the little postcard thing. Whoops. So let's see. We got some Doraemon stuff in here. What is this? This is I, it says Amori Nebuta Matsuri. I don't know what that is, but it's some type of Doraemon candy. I have no idea what it is. Uh, there, there it is. This. Oh, wait. It looks like it's supposed to taste like something. Or you'd mix them. I don't know. Thank you, assistant. Uh, this right there. I don't know if it's supposed to mix it or not. Oh, I've, I've heard of these. These are the, uh, um, okay, salt watermelon puka puka tie. Okay, this looks interesting. I am, I'm actually looking to forward to eating some of these. The last one's, the last box wasn't, I mean, it was good, but it wasn't that great. Got little polar bear gummies. Stuffed gummy, what is it called? Oh, it's a bonus. White soda polar bear happiness gummy. They seem to be stuffed with some type of, like, jelly or something inside of them. And then we got golden pineapple fettuccine uh, gummies. Oh, yo, that looks. N oh, yo, that 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 that's worth that's worth right there, chief. Another watermelon flavored gummies right here. What's this? A uh, little uh, sour soda candies that you can eat. Oh, we got a drink in here. What, oh wait, what's this? What flavor is this? Oh, ice vanilla, rich ice vanilla, a drink that you can. I, last one I got was a, it was a special edition Goku coffee. It was black coffee, but your boy don't like coffee. It it don't taste good. I don't know how some of y'all can do that. Y'all are nasty. But anyway, this looks delicious. This actually seems like I I drink this tonight I might have to because I need to stay up and get up early tomorrow what's this this is the cold cider oh mochi oh, okay that's nice mochi I, mean, I haven't had it but I know it, people have told me it's good cola flavored gummies from what I can tell right um yeah vending machine cola DIY another random gummy like a sour soda flavored jawbreaker, I would say. Is this boba watermelon? There's a lot of watermelon themed stuff this in this box. Yeah, watermelon seed ramune. So yeah, little pellets that you put in your mouth, and it'll taste like watermelon. 
Here we got some. Oh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. This one is the. What is this one called? I think this is the mini bottle. Or no, the premium plus one dragon biscuit umaboy or whatever. I don't. I don't really know. Then we got a little. Uh, who is who is this mint? And it has Albert Einstein with with his tongue sticking out. <laughs> That's nice. We got a couple more stuff in here. We got the mini bottle. Oh, oh, it is a mini bottle. That's pretty cool. And it has candy inside of it that you drink, I guess. Um, yeah, not a lot of anime themed stuff, but it's still, still good stuff. Last one had a lot of like Demon Slayer and Pokemon. Next month, y'all just wait for next month. It's gonna be great. And yellow watermelon gum. These are all the smaller ones. Now we got remaining last two big ones. So for the first one, we got these chips. They're called Very Sour Muko Super Plum Flavor. All right, so I got some plum flavored chips. The sour plum flavored chips. I don't know. We'll see. I'll try them out. I'll give some to my friends and my family, see what they think about it. Hopefully they don't taste too bad. But this, this, this looks, this looks like it's going to be delicious. And they're called, uh, what are they? Apricot and Chocolate Nor Soft Cookies. And they look like this. And it uses black cacao or cocoa, whatever, for the soft cookies. and. Oh, and it has like filling inside of them too, like caramel or something. That's oh no, that's apricot. Okay, this 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 for sure is gonna taste good. I, I I can I can already tell this is gonna be good. But yeah, that's for the subscription boxes for the Japan crate. Next up is a uh, the uh, I believe it's the otaku box. Okay, next is the otaku box. Um, I think I actually canceled the otaku box subscription just because. I'm back in college and I can't be wasting all my money on this stuff, but I do like the shirts and posters and all the little stuff that comes in here. I Last time I got a High School DXD necklace and I, I love it. It's great. I'm not wearing it now, but I love it. It's it's so cool. It's Issei's uh, dragon glove. So let's open this, this some bitch and see what's in here. Okay. Again, you guys will see it first and see what's in here. Little... I think the little cheat sheet is in there. I'm not sure. I'll look for it, but first I'm gonna try and see if I can guess what each one of them is without looking at the cheat sheet. So, okay. Okay, figure wise, who did we get this time? Oh, <gasps> we got, we got Akino from High School DXD. Okay, yeah, I can dig this. Yeah, if you like High School DXD stuff, we'll talk about boxes for you. We'll, we'll open her for the last. Let's see. And we also got... What is this? Uh, prompt. The right is the way the product is launched. Launched? What is this? Wait, what is this, y'all? It's a, it's a lantern? I got a, I got a lantern. Okay. Convex lens. Bun switch. Lampshade handle. And base bed. Okay. Okay, let's... Let's open this up. See what it looks like. Oh, nice and compact too. Okay. And then, how do I open? Does it not come with batteries or how do I? How do I yo, how do I open this, y'all? What the? But how do I, oh, there it is. Okay. That's pretty cool. It actually, it's a little small lantern that you can use if you want to go out camping or something. That's that's nice. I like this. I might use this if I ever go fishing with my friends. That's actually really nice. I like it. I'm keeping that for sure. Let's see. Is this is this a tote? Did they give me a tote? Okay, the shirt. Pretty sure the shirt is safe for work, so no blurring here. Oh, I think this is a girl from uh, Rosario uh, Plus Vampire. I haven't watched that one, but this is one that I really want to watch. I, I think that's her. It's the I forget what her name is. I haven't watched, but I know. I know the character. Oh, then it's also in red, dude. I, this shit looks... This shit slaps. 
This 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 slaps, yeah. For sure, yeah. I like this shirt too. All the shirts that, that come with your taco box, I really like. But this one's probably by far my favorite one. Oh no, it's not a tote. It's a hat. It's a fishing hat. What is this? Is this Rosario X Vampire? I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't know what anime this is. I'm a, oh, this is the first one I don't know. But sure, why not? Let's see. Oh, and I forget. Now this. Oh, yo, that's zero two, bro. Bro, that's that's yo chief. Rika, wait, this is uh, this is a girl from uh, I think it's S S S S Gridman. Yeah, yeah, okay, I was right. It comes with a little Pokemon card. The last time I got Albedo, this one, this this one's gonna be need to be censored out. But uh, I got I got this one. It's from S S S Gridman. It's not. I, I like it. It looks nice. And then we got this zero two uh. Pin. This one's also gonna need to be censored out. But my God, it looks great. Okay, and then the poster, of course, of whoops, of the shirt. But this one, I believe it's NSFW, and I was right. And oh my God, she looks great. So here it is, and 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 in, in, in all its beauty. So. Okay, and then, like I said, wait, there's nothing else in here. Oh, wait, what is? What's this? Oh, and the sticker too. Ooh, this is a nice aqua sticker. No, it's it's safe for work. It's it's a nice, uh, useless sticker, just like her. Just kidding. But this this is interesting. This is like a limited edition otaku box slash X fairy tale Lucy Heart Philia. Uh, Point looks like it's a Lucy Heart Philia in the front and then the otaku box in the back. It let me see, let me see what it actually is. Yeah, it's a coin that no, they actually made and they just sent it out. That's pretty cool. Now, let's see what it's actually in here. Yeah, so the the figure for high school DXT, I can know the Konosuba sticker. I was right. Oh. This is from Overlord. I didn't recognize that. Okay. Still waiting for season four of Overlord. That's for sure. Coming out, I think, this year or next year. Probably next year, more than likely. The Lantern. And, yeah. Her name, the girl's name was Mocha from Rosario Plus Vampire. So, I was right on that. And the Zero Two button. Oh, next month was supposed to be Darkness or Arisa. Man, and I canceled it. I'm sad now. I could have seen their titties, man. Oh well. Um, let's open this prize figure for Akino and see what this one looks like. Albeit, these figures are like, uh, knockoffs. They're not like legit figures, but you know, if, if you want to start with these, you go ahead. They're not the greatest, but the last one I got came broken. Hopefully, this one's not broken. You know what? Not too bad, actually. This one actually isn't too bad. Here, I'll show y'all. Her hair is not the right color. That's not my business. But, I mean, she looks nice. It's not too bad. She passes the toe test, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Anyways, I guess that's it for the otaku box. Next one, we move on to some, some uh, spicy, spicy stuff. Okay. Next up is posters, and let me tell you, Saki from Twitter, I'll put her Twitter down below, you guys should go check her out, she makes amazing, and I mean amazing posters and artwork, and I love it. Now let's see if I can open, and let me just tell you, her shop has safe for work and not safe for work posters, I ordered like 25, none of these are safe for work. I'm so sorry to whoever has to edit this. I'm so fucking sorry. You're gonna have to see so many titties. Oh man, that's 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 thick. Look at that. Look at that in there. That's thick, filled with posters. Okay. 
that's just the first batch. There's some more in here. <laughs> and more. Oh. Okay. There's that. Okay, so we'll start off hopefully one by one. Let's see. Okay, this one. So I don't I don't remember who exactly I buy. I know some of them, but I don't remember all of them. Some of these characters I know, and some of these I don't too well. But let oh, oh my, oh oh my. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Eric. <laughs> I'm so sorry, buddy. <laughs> this is from a game from Helltaker. It's Cerberus, but in this game, the demons are like cute waifu girls. And Saki did an amazing job, but I'm so sorry, buddy. <laughs> Let's just say they have a lot of yogurt on them. <laughs> I'm so sorry, buddy. Um, I'll post these on my Twitter, cause honestly, uh, yeah, uh, I'm sure you can show, you can see the faces, but you can't see everything else. That'll be blurred out. But I, I'm sorry, buddy. I and that's just the first one out of like 25. Okay, let's see what this one is. Okay, this one's not as bad. This, damn. Clean. Like, li she's literally clean. This is uh, Andrew 18 in a bunny outfit. So, this is it. This is Andrew 18 in a bunny outfit. Looks, looks amazing. I can say, Saki makes amazing artwork. If you guys don't know who she is, you should really go give her a follow on Twitter. Okay, who, which one is this one? Oh! Okay! This one, she's literally stretching. Okay. This is Merka from uh, My Hero Academia, the uh, the bunny superhero, the one that everyone was fucking getting mad about, saying on Twitter that she doesn't sound black. I which, what? Shut up! Like, what's black supposed to sound like? Man. Anyways, we we stand we stand her, dude. She looks, she looks great. Oh, this is uh. Mai from uh, Bunny Girl Senpai. She's in her, well, she has her bunny ears on. Not the suit though. Again, probably just the head will be shown. If it even shows on the camera. If not, everything is gonna be blurred for y'all. <laughs> just remember, this is just the first out of the two packages of posters. I ordered a lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got, we got, we got, we got my girl Akino in here. Oh yeah. My high school DXC. How could I not get her? I mean, like, how couldn't I? I just wish uh, Saki would make some of all the other girls like Asia, Koneko, um, Zenobia, Rosewise, and Irina. That would be spectacular. Oh, this one's the Rias one. Oh, yeah, dude. Fuck, dude. Rias is best girl, dude. Waifu of, the, of that show. Oh, this is Sinon from uh, Sword Art Online. Little known fact, I actually like Sword Art Online. Sure, the second half of the first season and the second season weren't that great. But the third season and then now, like, Alistation and Al uh, and Well Over the Underworld and the first half of the first season were actually great and I like them. So, yeah, there's that. Hate me if you want, but I don't give a shit. But, yeah, here's Sinon with her with her sniper. I like it. I like it. Yeah, my friends in the back, they just, they, they gave up on me. They just, they just gave up. And this one is, uh, Megumin from Konosuba. And man, Saki gave her some nice curves. So yeah, that's the first poster box thing package. Now for the second one. Oh, uh, this is um. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't, I don't play this game because it's 2020 and that game is dead. Um, for those of my friends watching, uh, Portal, Connie, Burge. Uh, I believe this is an 
Overwatch character? I think this is... I forget what her name is. I don't remember, but yeah, I got her because she looked great. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is from uh, Data Live. This is Kurumi. My god. Like, again, dude, Saki does such an amazing job. I, The detail on her work and, like, the way everything looks is just amazing. Okay, so here we got Momo or Yayorutsu from uh, Adult Yayorutsu from uh, My Hero Academia. Yeah, she always looked great. She, she, Saki just made her even better. And on her website, it explicitly says that she's the adult version. So yeah, don't don't get mad at me and come at me. Okay, here we got Rias and Mio. I haven't watched this one, uh, Testament of New Sisters or whatever it's called, but I recognize her and I want to get cause like fucking two fucking good looking redheads dude. And it's, just, this one's like the only one that, that doesn't have to be blurred out. She has bikini, they have bikini on. Maybe, maybe you guys, it might even need to be blurred out, but who cares. This one's Raftalia with, I don't, I, I haven't watched this one either. I know it's Raftalia and some other fox girl, but yeah, um, it looks great. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Oh, I actually got the Mio and the Rias one. The, the safe for work and the unsafe for work one. So, so here's the unsafe for work one. It looks great. Oh, this is a uh, 2B from the, I forget, I forget what the name of the game is, but she's, uh, fuck. I'm really blanking out on the game right now, but yeah, 2B is always a good waifu. She's... She has the she has the body for her to be a, a top tier waifu. Actually, she is a top tier waifu. What am I talking about? Okay, we got. What was it? Oh, I didn't even realize Uraraka was in there. It's Uraraka and Froppy, the adult versions, of course, because because we don't we don't do none of that none of that map stuff in here. But yeah, I didn't realize that Uraraka was down here, but she is, and then this Froppy right here. Monthly subscription box is done. Poster is done. Now comes the big boy. Something that I spent a lot of money on. Like, it's like, I'd say half of everything that's in here is this. And that, y'all, would be my figures. Okay, so big boy is down here. Uh, I'm not gonna put it up here because it's so much of a hassle. It's a big box. You guys didn't know already, I'm a big High School DXT fan. And last time this figure went on sale or was open for pre-orders, I didn't get to it in time and I didn't have the money. So I was sad and I thought I wasn't going to be able to get it again. So I was stuck with just the three girls which were Asia, Koneko, and uh, Akino. But luckily I, I went on Ami Ami again and I saw that they had it open again for pre-order. So as soon as I saw it, I'm like, pre-ordered. So I did that and you know I'm great like I, I completed the the collection but I wish they would do the other girls too this is a Novia figure out there there's a couple but like they're the same stance with just different bikinis on them but they're very old and not really like the way they look I wish they would update them hopefully when season 5 comes out next year they'll do that but Little packaging slip saying thank you for shopping at Ami Ami, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I got the Rias special edition one, so I got this, and I have the ones for the other three girls as well. This is gonna look good, it's finally gonna complete the collection. So we're gonna open the first one, which is it's a one seventh scale. Luckily, it's safe for work, so I can show you guys. Uh, let me move this over. Here's what she looks like. Uh, I'm gonna open it for you guys because uh, I don't really care about if it's mint condition or not because these are for me. But I mean, once once I'm done showing you guys, I'm putting it back in the boxes. I have nowhere. I literally I'm buying figures, but I don't have space to put them anywhere in my room. <laughs> but I just like the figures a lot and the. High school DXT ones always come with this little 
like wool cotton thing mat that you can put them on. Oops. Wait, does it not have tape on it? Oh, okay, it's just that. Oh, it does. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. There we go. And again, this one's also a cast off, just like the other ones. But I'm not gonna do that here, cause it's just I don't think it's worth taking all that off right now. Yeah, but oh, hold on, I think I have to take off her. Yep, taking off her head and then putting it back on to get rid of this and the little mat thing. Um, stuff on me. No, thank you. But yeah, it's nice and big. Yeah, it's, it's a nice little platform, and then you just put it on there, and boom, there you go. That well, there you go. It's Rias, and she's fucking best girl, and I'll fight anyone over it. I, God, I like I, I love Rias. I, I love redheads. Holy shit, dude. Okay, so that was the Rias figure. Now we just got Evangelion figures, and I just finished watching well, the regular season of Evangelion and Evangelion End. And on these figures, I tried looking for all of them, like the ones I at least I knew, like Kaoru, uh, Rei, Asna, not Asna, Asuka, and Shinji. They had Kaoru, uh, Rei, and Asuka, but they didn't have a Shinji. I, I don't understand why. I don't know why people hate Shinji so much. I mean, it's a 14 year old kid with dad issues that was put through a lot of shit. Like, give the kid a break. Either way. But there was this other girl. I don't know if it's from like Evangelion. This is this Evangelion rebuild or whatever. Or rebirth or some shit. I don't know. I just don't know who that girl is. And probably, so I'm probably gonna catch up and see uh, where she's from. Well, let's start. Her name is Madi. I don't. I don't know. We'll start with Ray. And let me tell you, the box, the boxing for these look amazing. Like, just look at this. Like, look at look at that. Like, it's. It looks just. It just looks great. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Actually, this one's actually pretty big. I didn't realize how there was gonna be this. What what scale is this? Is it? It's a, oh, it's a one sixth scale, so it's bigger than the Rias one. Okay, good to know. I think this is my first, or this is my biggest figure that I've owned yet. Cause I have other ones, but they're like prize figures that I won, and then the other ones that I actually collect, like actual figures, figures. And they're all from Ami Ami, and they're all like a seventh scale. But damn. Look at that, Chief. Oh my god. That looks that looks great. I'm I honestly love it. Uh number nine is that supposed to be like her she's the ninth clone or some shit, but I don't know. Oh and the little thing she's standing on is her um her Ava. I didn't even realize that. It's a uh, unit uh zero zero I believe. I think that's what it is. I'm not, I'm not I don't remember 100%, but I'm sure it's, yeah, yeah it's unit zero, 00. Okay, so we got Kaoru next. Little, little man had a, had a, had a small man relationship with, with your boy Shinji. Um, didn't end well. Shinji ended up, uh, spoilers, I guess, killing him. I mean, if you haven't watched Evangelion, I mean, that's on you. It came out in the 90s. Catch up. I can't remember which Ava he piloted. I think he was just like a replacement pilot for uh, for Asuka for a bit. So. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what. Oh, okay, thank God. I thought I broke it. Oh, it comes separate. Oh. So he's actually sitting on, um, what is he sitting? I don't, I don't, I don't recognize this Ava at all. 
fuck me, man. man how is how does he sit on this? Does it does it tell me? No, does he just like this? Like this? No, like like this? How the hell does he sit on this? Hold on. I'm gonna figure this out. Hold on. Wait, no. I don't know. We'll, we'll say it goes like this. Uh, he just keeps falling off. I don't. I don't. Man, I don't, I don't know, man. We'll go, we'll go like that. There you go. There's this cow. There's there's a guy who who, who had a had a gay affair with a uh, well, not affair, but he was just gay for Shinji. Okay. Then we got this chick. I don't. I don't know. Like I said, Mari Makinami. I don't. I don't know. I don't know who she is. I don't. Know. I guess I got to watch more of the newer stuff for Evangelion, but I don't, I don't know who she is. So no, no do I care because there's not enough memes or history that I've seen going around about her. So I don't think she's that relevant. Okay. But I mean, her packaging do be nice. Hmm. Dude, I'm trying my best not to fucking damage the, the figures in the process of me trying to open these. So it looks like she actually comes with a... Oh wow, she is so packed with plastic and oh my god. Holy crap. So hers seems that she... Dude, this Ava looks fucking... Jesus Christ, look at this Ava. I think that that's... Yeah, that's an evil. Oh my god. Okay. She comes with a different hair extension thing. I don't... With shorter hair for the back? Is it the back or is it the front? Oh, it's the front. My bad. What the... How the hell do I take this off? Actually, you know what? I don't want to risk. No, nope, never mind. I ended up risking it. Look at her. She's bald now. So yeah, she just comes with different hair. Oh, one with glasses and one without glasses. Okay. Interesting. She looks better without glasses, to be honest. How the hell does she sit on this table? Like this? No. How the? How does she sit? Y'all. Um, like this? I don't. Like like this? I am so confused. I I don't. Man, I I give up on her too. Shit. Last one. My God. <laughs> We've been at this for too long. Uh, finally, we got our Sundere Queen, Asuka, Shikinami, Langley. My friend Zale is fuming right now. I can already tell. No! No, you motherfucker! It came apart! It came apart. What happened to you? Yeah, man. And these figures don't want to see me winning, Chief. Gosh, it looks amazing. Holy crap. I love it. I, I love this. I love this a lot. Look at this. Look at how she looks. Oh my god. Look at that ass. Oh yeah. She looks amazing. And here's her Ava, which is... Well, this figured Ava, but it's Ava, the unit 002. Right? Or zero, yeah, zero, zero, two. So here it is. And it comes with this all little add-on to this is her, what is this? Where the, oh wait, no, wait, is this for her head? Is this her helmet? Can her, wait, can her head come off? Yeah, try and figure out how that goes. 
and then cheap. Uh, something like. Again, I don't. Man, it fell apart before I could. Oh, there it is! I got it. There. That's how she goes on that on that Ava. Uh huh. There y'all go like this. But does this go on the even on the Ava? No. This has to go on her. So her head has to be able to come off. You know what? If I figure it out, I'll just post a picture on this on Twitter and y'all can look at it if you want. But yeah, so we'll put her back on here. So there you guys have it. That's my unboxing. Um, My wallet hurt. Not a little, but a lot. And I mean like a lot. And this is only half of the stuff I ordered for July. It's still another half that hasn't even come in yet. And that will probably be have to be included for the September edition. But yeah, I am tired. We are tired. Um, so much uh, NSFW, so many titties. Um, a lot of blurring. I'm sorry. But yeah, as always, I'll put all the stuff or the websites for the things where I bought all these things from down below in the description. Y'all make sure to go check it out and also check out the girl who made the poster, Saki. Um, great artist. Um, social links and everything on their media the twitter twitch all that good stuff anyways thanks all uh thanks all for watching and uh i'll see you in the next video